Hey guys, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today I got a little bonus video for you. Today I am doing some tackle prep. You know, like most of you, got a lot of non-fishing time on our hands right now, so I got a little bonus video for you. Just kind of going through a lot of my boxes and organizing, organizing my tackle, organizing my terminal tackle, and I wanted to share with you guys uh, some cool boxes that I've been playing around with and some ideas and stuff to maybe help you guys organize your tackle better. Let's go. I have seen so many people posting pictures of their garages, their man caves, their boats, just the, all of their um, free time, if you will, to organize all their tackle. And uh, I'm doing the same thing. You know, I spent a lot of time going through the garage taking old boxes, upgrading to new boxes, and uh, you guys know that Matt and I, we, we are just tackle junkies, so we're always accumulating stuff, always trying out new stuff, new ways to organize stuff. Um, so I figured I would actually shoot a little video of what I got done today. I, I made, I don't know, probably eight or 10 new boxes. Uh, took me a long time because I really took a lot of time organizing my terminal tackle and um, pretty excited pretty happy with how it came out you know in the past I've shot videos like this before and I've told you that I haven't really found a way to organize uh, my hooks um, I did have a way where I organized my trouble hooks you guys have probably seen this before I actually keep all of the foam uh, from the hook packages I put them in the in the bottom of the compartment and then I go through and I label all my hooks based by size and strength, you know, 1X, 2X, 3Xs and red hooks. Um, so I upgraded that box today, but you guys have seen that. But uh, more importantly, stuff like this. You know, I've been looking at these boxes for a while now. I got a couple of them early on and um, really liked how they how they spent a lot of time organizing or, or coming up with the idea of how to organize individual ter terminal stuff. So I got, uh, ended up ordering a few more and uh, probably need to order a few more because I ran out, but spent a lot of time organizing my terminal tackle. And that's what I want to share with you guys today. You know, there's not a perfect system, I believe, uh, but this is getting close. You know, um, in the past, I like I said, I've, I've shown you just bags in all of a specific type of hook in a Ziploc bag, in a Bass Mafia bag, and I had all my hooks together. Um, but today, I started making a lot of individual boxes. So like you can see right here, it says drop shot. I have all of my different drop shot hooks, all labeled in individual compartments. I have all my weights labeled, and it's really, don't wanna dump this out, spend all the time organizing it, but, um, Really cool setup by Plano. This is the edge boxes, and you can actually pull these out. It's got a closing little lid, see-through lid that you can lock shut, put them in your pocket. But more importantly, this entire box, and, and this is the reason that I decided to go with them, uh, you know, as you can see, that's, that's, that's quite a bit of money in terminal tackle hooks, weights. Uh, I've had it happen to me, and you guys have probably happened to you. You know, you go fishing and you have a little bit of moisture in your box and you put it away and the next time you go to grab it, it is filled with rust and you have lost all of your hooks. And uh, today's hooks aren't inexpensive. So these boxes are a little pricey when I compared it to other stuff like it on the market. It was right there in the same ballpark. But what I really liked about these edge boxes um, is they have the built-in like restrictor in the entire plastic the whole thing is is built in so not only do you have the individual little silicone or silica not silicone silica packs you know like you get in your tennis shoes that are all pre cut to go right into the slots but it's also built in the restrictor is built into the entire box and uh, I decided to pull the trigger and do all of my terminal boxes like that and um, been really excited to have it all organized. You can see right here, I have all my hooks, one aught, ones, uh, mosquito lights, one aughts, mosquito lights, ones. I have everything individually labeled and organized. So I know probably a little ADD, 
maybe a little too much, but I like to have all of my gear organized, especially on long road trips. I want to have everything in a box where I can pull out my entire drop shot box and have everything there. But what I also found, let me close this box up before I dump it all so you guys can't see it. Check out this. This is just a random box that I have. Not, not random box. This is a box I have random terminal tackle in. I got some uh, tube heads in, some different darter heads, some uh, whack -a sacks for wacky rigging. But I uh, want to show you guys these little guys. Check out these little containers for holding all of your split rings. So I have all of my hyper wires, twos, threes, fours, fives, sixes, sevens, all the way right there in a rust proof box that comes out individually. And I, I just think it's so cool. Anyways, I'm, I'm very happy with how it turned out. I'll show you some of these other boxes I completed today. I did, so these boxes come with, uh, you know, a bunch of these individual compartments, but they also come with these weight compartments. Uh, I haven't figured out exactly where I'm going to put those yet. You know, if I have a box that's like a, a punch box, I'm going to have all of my weights. I'm going to have all my peg stops, uh, my peg, my uh, skirts, and then all my baits and hooks in there. So I'm going to start building just a bunch of technique-specific boxes. So I started doing that already. I showed you my drop shot box, showed you the miscellaneous one. Check out this worm hook box I built. So right here I have all my worm hooks. 11 aught all the way down to little number two uh, wacky rig hooks. So I have everything, some trocars here, some BMC, Gamakatsu, some owners, I got everything, but it's all labeled, all based on sized. Pretty, pretty happy how it turned out. I will say these, um, these, the lids on these take a little bit to get used to. It's, it's made to, it's easier to do with one hand to uh, lock it and unlock it. Very, very cool boxes. Um, really excited got this one done too this is a, a Cinco slash Nico rig box I won't open it because I'll dump all the hooks out but check this out got a bunch of five inch Cinco's in there have all my hooks down the middle weights over here I got swagger tackle um, tungsten pagoda weights there all of my different um, weedless hooks all my different mosquito hooks sniper finesse hooks uh, so there is my Nico rig box. It's just, uh, we all got extra time on our hands, right? So um, organization, when we all get to actually go fishing, um, all of our stuff will be organized, right? So a few more boxes, kind of happy with. I showed you this. Oh, this box. This is, uh, so this is all Plano Edge stuff. This is actually, I got an actual, got an actual, this is a, uh, custom divider series. I don't know, it's a 3700, but I don't know, I'll link the exact model down below. But I really like these boxes too. Get this logo out of the way for you. It comes with dividers everywhere. So where this really helps, where this really works, crankbaits. Here's our all of our tactical cranks. You can see you can put angled dividers in there so that it really works well for crankbaits. I have my 6XDs, 5XDs, uh, tactical cranks, all of my different types of cranks built into these boxes right here. Um, and it's been, I'm able to get, you know, I smash them in there because it's, crankbaits are kind of big, but I'm able to get about three crankbaits per individual little section. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, yeah, 36 crankbaits in there, pretty cool. But they're more universal than that. Check out this box I made. Might be easier to see behind. Because of all the small individual dividers, I'm able to take all of my excess drop shot weights, punch weights, tungsten, just Texas rig weights, swivels, all of my miscellaneous terminal and put it all in one box and have it all organized by uh, individual compartments. So, um, Ned rigs. Again, I pulled the trigger on, on these, age, these edge boxes. I really liked uh, the ones I had that I originally got, so I just ordered some more. And I'm probably gonna make the transition um, between this style of box, this is that waterproof box, got that waterproof gasket. I really like this 
this box, this and the double deep in that style. I really like this style that I showed you. And now the edge boxes, uh, really becoming a fan of these. Got this whole Ned rig box built. So I have missile baits in there. I got some robo worms, some of my miscellaneous uh, heads. Everything's based on size right here. So I have 10th, 8th, 316th, a quarter, 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 different ounce heads for all of my stuff. I got the tungsten heads in there, the swaggers. I got some owner block heads and I got some basic TRD heads uh, that, you know, we use all, all three styles. So anyways, just wanted to share uh, more importantly, the, the terminal stuff because organizing terminal tackle can be a pain. You know, it's nice to have a box where you can have all of your worm hooks, boom, right there and you can pull out individual compartments. Um, what I really found cool, I went hiking with uh, JD the other day, my son, and we were throwing some Senkos. So I brought two rods, he brought a rod. I literally just grabbed this out and put it in my pocket and uh, he broke off a couple times and was able to retie. So a really interesting concept. I'm really digging it. Um, I will I'll do an update video, let you know how, how they lasted you know, throughout the season. Um, I highly doubt there's gonna be any rust, especially with the silica packs in there and then the, the rust, rust uh, restrictor built in. That's cool technology. A couple other boxes that I built real quick, I'll show you. Finesse jig box. Double deep, it's 37 hot size, but it's double deep. So I have everything from uh, eighth ounce, three sixteenths, a quarter, three eighths. I have all the different sizes, all the different colors right there. What else? Oh, chatterbaits. So what I did, I pretty much looked at my most expensive hard baits, my terminal tackle, my most expensive hard baits, and then real some, some technique specific boxes. And that's what I started with. Like I said, I'm, I'll order more and I'll make the transition completely. But uh, all my jackhammers, all my chatterbaits, obviously you don't want those jackhammers getting all rusty and stuff. You know, a lot of time we use Kitex uh, as trailers and you know that there's a lot of salt in there. So uh, anything helps when it's got the, the stuff built in uh, with rust. So built a, a chatterbait box. This guy I'm proud of. That's an LV500 box. We always tell you guys to uh, keep your color simple. You can see clearly that I do that also. <laughs> but uh, again, expensive baits, I went and upgraded the boxes. Terminal tackle, I went and upgraded the boxes. Just one of those days, just getting a bunch of stuff done, going through and organizing the boat, organizing new boxes, getting rid of these old, you know, I've had these forever, but you can see they get all cloudy. Um, still great boxes still last just uh, a lot nicer to be able to put stuff in like this and last but not least i will say thank you to plano uh, on these boxes i hate having to you guys probably do too having to cut you know, this is a brand new box right you gotta go cut all the individual dividers i will say it was awesome to be able to open these boxes and have everything pre-cut, I got a bunch of leftovers, but the, everything's all pre-cut for you and you don't have to cut them. You just slide them in. It makes it so much easier. I don't have to deal with scissors. It definitely saves a lot of time. But you guys, I finally found uh, a way to organize my terminal tackle. And um, again, if you guys are looking to do that, you guys got free time on your hands, you're looking for the right way to do it, definitely check these out. Been, been really impressed and I like how it turned out. I also like how they are a thinner box. So I'll have to go measure, but I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to fit two, two deep in the boat, in the, you know, the, the, the biters, but um, really cool. Again, more free time, wishing I was out fishing, but getting a lot of organization done, a lot of uh, technique specific boxes built. So now when I wanna go grab my LVs, I grab the LV 500 box and good to go. Uh, if you guys don't want to spend the money on the on the edge boxes, um, get yourself some of those silica packs. You know, you can get them in, uh, you can buy them online, Amazon, you can buy them in bulk. 
but to check out these boxes as well. I will link all the stuff down below in the video description, but check out, look how much stuff I could put in that box. All the, made all these individual compartments. I could have split those in, in thirds more, um, but there's all my extra, extra terminal tackle. Brass and glass, different lead drop shot weights, some extra tungsten drop shot weights, punch weights, punch stops, swivels, all of it in one box. So I will continue to, to organize, and uh, but I just wanted to bring you guys along, show you guys some of the stuff I got done today, and uh, hopefully when we all get up back out on the water, we'll all have clean kayaks, clean boats, uh, clean rods and reels, tackle, everything's organized and we'll go out and stick some giants. But uh, just want to share with you guys uh, some, of the, some of the stuff I've been working on and um, show you guys some of the stuff I like. So if you guys have any questions about any of these boxes or any of the stuff that we like for the technique specific stuff, please leave those down below in the comments section. Uh, and if you guys learn anything or you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to your, our channel. We're doing lots of videos a week. You know, I say three, sometimes it's four, sometimes it's five or six. Today's video is just a bonus video, not even on the calendar, but uh, we appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe. We'll talk to you soon.